Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of everything you need to know about being a medical laboratory technician. I have gathered about four different videos from different sources to provide you with more information. These were the same video clips that inspired me to get into the field. I hope it does the same for you. Enjoy, share, like, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Medical laboratory technicians play an important role in the prevention and diagnosis of diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and AIDS. Medical lab technicians work under the supervision of a physician, lab manager, or medical technologist, and perform laboratory tests on specimens. The tests that lab techs conduct assist doctors in verifying the causes of an illness, making medical decisions, and determining treatment options. Some of the areas in which medical lab technicians may specialize include microbiology, hematology, blood banking, immunology, clinical chemistry, molecular biology, and cytotechnology. Most medical lab technicians can be found working in hospitals, diagnostic laboratories, or physicians' offices. Other employment options for medical lab technicians are available with blood and organ banks, medical equipment sales companies, research facilities, clinics, and public health organizations, as well as pharmaceutical and reference laboratories. Their workplaces are clean, sanitized, and well-lit. They must wear protective clothing, including lab coats, masks, goggles, and gloves when handling equipment or specimens. They can work odd shifts throughout the day and be on call in case of emergency. Medical lab technicians set up and sanitize laboratories, prepare specimens, match blood compatibility for transfusions, analyze fluid chemical content, collect blood samples, and examine immune system elements. Technicians are expected to handle sophisticated laboratory equipment, including cell counters, microscopes, and automated analyzers. These devices are used to search for parasites, bacteria, and other microorganisms. Medical laboratory technicians carry out less complicated procedures and tests than do medical laboratory technologists. Medical lab technicians are generally required to have a certificate or an associate's degree from an accredited school. Topics covered as part of a medical lab technician training program may include human anatomy and physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, chemistry, medical laboratory techniques, applied immunology, blood coagulation, and urinalysis. In some cases, they may need licensing based on state requirements. Medical lab technicians may advance to become medical lab technologists with additional experience and training. Prospective technologists need to earn a bachelor's degree in medical technology. In May 2015, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, or BLS, reported an annual median salary of $38,970 for medical and clinical laboratory technicians. The BLS predicted 18% employment growth for these technicians from 2014 to 2024, which is much faster than average. To review, Medical lab technicians perform tests that help physicians diagnose and treat diseases. A certificate or associate's degree is typically needed to start in the field, while a bachelor's degree could lead to an advanced position as a medical lab technologist. And this is what looks like normal flora in your sputum. Nothing on these plates look like they would be causing a problem. I worked at a cheese factory, now this is kind of like a bug factory. You go to the doctor, you have your throat swab, and he'll send it off to the lab, which is us. We're going to put it, take the swab and put it on media that will grow certain bugs. Um, in 24 hours, those bugs will grow. We'll do tests to identify what kind of bug it is. If it's considered a pathogen or something that's going to give you a problem, we'll put in an instrument that will tell us what the name of it is and what kind of drugs to test it. I used to work in a factory, so in the factory it's the same thing day after day. This is a different kind of factory. You have, you're doing the same thing, but it's um, different every day. Um, bugs are bugs. They can, they're, they've got a mind of their own. So um, you learn something new every day. Um, I was 38 years old. I thought I was going to retire there, work there for the rest of my life. I was. Uh, one month sh uh, shy of working there 15 years. Um, my whole married life I worked there. Um, it was uh, bad. It was a terrible feeling to know that uh, 
the paycheck wasn't coming in, um, that I'd have to try something totally different, especially at my age. Um, a lot of the people that I worked with were like, well, I'm too old to go back to school. Um, I was always a good student in high school, and um, I was involved in a dislocated workers program, and uh, they helped um, pay for some of my education. And I thought, if this is what I got to do, and I wanted to do it for 20 years. So I said, this, grab it and go. I feel like I'm helping, I'm making a difference. Um, that was my big thing when I was a real young child. I wanted to, I wanted to become a med tech a long time ago because I wanted to get a cure for cancer, you know, or muscular dystrophy. Um, I'm not quite there, but um, I feel like I'm, it's a very rewarding job for me. So it keeps my brain going, keeps me feeling young. Consider working as a medical laboratory technician MLTs draw blood samples, prepare lab specimens, and use microscopes and other high-powered instruments for tests that are vital to the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease. MLTs work in a variety of settings, from hospitals and doctor's offices to research facilities and public health organizations. In fact, medical laboratory science is the third largest medical profession in the country. And with a current shortage of lab techs, there's opportunity for competitive salaries, job security, and career advancement. An MLT a lot of people don't know exactly what we do, but it is especially vital in patient care. When you go to the doctor and we say you need to go to the lab and get your blood drawn, they look at the specimens and assist in the doctor's diagnosis. 70% of the doctor's diagnosis is based upon lab results. A perfect student for medical technician is a student that paying attention to details and is always thinking about people. The person who wants to study this is a perfectionist because we need to pay attention. A lot of MLT degrees are usually two years, but this one was one. Me being a single mom, working full time, I was like, I just want to get my degree a little bit faster. The expectations I had for the college were exceeded Every question that I had was answered and everything was responded to in about 24 hours. We always discuss how to help someone in special situations, try to help them with their schedules, with the classes. If they have questions, they can write an email or text me and I can help them. The best part of this program is the support that I get from my fellow students. This degree was extremely hard, but we've all been in this together. We all are going at the same pace. We all are taking the same courses. We all understand that we have to be there for each other, and I appreciate each and every one of them. We have a very nice lab. They love it. It's like our playroom. <laughs> they want to practice a lot. The microscope is our first tool. Every day we have a lot of new tests, new conditions, and try to give the student the experience. Anything to succeed in life really takes a lot of dedication. You can do anything that you set your mind to. You're helping people change their lives. Are you interested in a career related to healthcare? Do you have a basic understanding of biology and medical terms? And do you have the practical skills needed to operate and maintain lab equipment? If so, you might be just the right specimen for a healthy career as a medical laboratory assistant. Medical laboratory assistants work under the direction of medical professionals. They help perform various tasks like collecting and testing body fluids and tissue samples from patients, preparing slides for study under a microscope, and using computers to record test information. They may also make chemical solutions and clean and sterilize lab equipment. We took a sample of this career by talking to a medical laboratory assistant working in Alberta. My name is Caitlin and I'm a medical laboratory assistant. 
A medical lab assistant can have a variety of jobs, some of which would include the testing of patient samples uh, to generate test results. That can be taken place in a hospital, in a laboratory, or in clinics. As a medical laboratory assistant, you could work for veterinary labs, you could work for government labs, or you could work for more industrial manufacturing labs. At Canadian Blood Services, we collect blood donations, process them, and then send them to hospitals for patient treatment. Other lines of work you could do could be testing that are sent from other laboratories. You can be in the collection process, directly collecting the blood samples or other kind of bodily fluids. There's clerical work involved. There's many roles for medical lab assistants. Medical lab assistants generally work under medical lab technicians or x-ray technicians or even pathologists. It's a fairly busy job usually. We work weekends, we work evenings. Um, there are some organizations that even run for 24 hours. The shifts are usually eight hours. We try to do as much as we can in the morning because we are under certain time frames. Uh, this report 7.15%. And around nine o'clock, uh, the whole team meets for a morning huddle where we discuss safety quality and any other information that we may need to know from the weeks prior. The next step after that will be sometime in March where we're actually putting up the new posters and the new logos and everything like that. Okay. After that we kind of go into our own tasks. Um, a lot of the work is individual. Uh, a lot of the work also involves a lot of communication with the rest of your team. I just need these three units. We do have personal protective equipment that we wear. We would wear a lab coat and gloves. There's a lot of standing. We are usually on our feet. Um, certain jobs do have a little bit of sitting time, but it's a very fast-paced environment typically, so you do walk around, move around a lot. To be a good medical lab assistant, you do need to be able to work step-by-step step with a team or individually. You do need to have a basic understanding of anatomy and medical terminology, as well as basic lab safety procedures. You also need a good understanding of math and basic computer skills. You need to have a very good sense of time management. Uh, a lot of products need to be stored at certain temperatures by certain times um, from when they're collected. You also have to be very organized as a medical lab assistant because we work with so many different products and they all have to be organized accordingly. To enjoy working as a medical lab assistant, you should like working step by step uh, with a team or individually, and you should just take pride in helping patients. Yeah, June is going to be busy. And yeah, be busy. I took a medical lab assistant course, which uh, gives you a certificate after about 10 months. You could get certified through the Canadian Society of Medical Lab Sciences. However, it is not necessary, and a lot of jobs will train you on site. If someone was interested in pursuing an occupation as a medical lab assistant, I would tell them to get started as soon as possible because it is very fulfilling and the career aspects of it are just amazing. The benefits, the very fair pay, I think it's a great idea. Medical laboratory assistants play an important role in the healthcare process. By collecting and processing specimens or samples, they help physicians diagnose diseases. That's why you need a thorough understanding of lab procedures together with a step-by-step -step approach to your work. Why not put this occupation under a microscope and learn about educational requirements and salary ranges?